All right. American viewers may not know this uh, brand, but uh, in Canada we have what's called uh, Princess Auto, which is essentially Harbor Freight, but up north here. Same kind of thing. Very dangerous for me to go in there. I want to buy, like, everything. But they got lots of cheap stuff, and uh, this jack was on sale for, like, 30 bucks Canadian, which is almost zero. That'd be, like, $15 American, probably. But, uh... Yeah, total low-end thing. I know I'm only going to use it once in a while. It's not made to last. Anyway, Power Fist. If that doesn't sound fucking Chinese, I don't know what does. Anyway. Let's show you what I got going on here. I'm already too old for this up and down shit. I've talked about the fact that the rear end of the uh, 74 here is totally sagged out. You can see it's only uh, three, three and a half leaves here. The, this one is only in the middle, so let's say let's say four at best, and it's just flat as fuck, eh? What would Dad say? Uh, Dad's thing was uh, flatter than piss on a dinner plate. So anyway, I looked around for springs. They wanted two hundred fifty dollars each for Christ's sake. That's ridiculous for just a few pieces of bent metal that have to be. You know, all that, you, all that you have to know is how long it is to get at the shackles here. But anyway, that's fucked. So, uh, I think I may have mentioned in another video that I went to a final place and they said, no, but get some air shocks. You know, Monroe or High Lift or whatever the fuck. So that's what I'm going to do. And essentially up there you can see the, uh, I'm going to replace these shocks with a set of Monroe air shocks. So I can pump them up and get the right height as far as I need it. Uh, I can see already that the other shocks are like really fat, so they might interfere with this gas tank flange here. We'll see. Um, yeah, and I haven't had a lot of look underneath of this car as yet, because I don't have a hoist or a lift. Um, it looks pretty damn good in here. This is a new freaking stainless gas tank. It looks like the uh, exhaust and tailpipe are stainless, which is pretty cool. That's pretty expensive. Um, the only thing I see, which I of course knew about, this might be a little bit too dark for you to see, but all up in the rear corner here, she's fucked, eh? It's just dirt. Especially on the other side. This one is actually in better shape than the other side. So I, I, I do wish I could find some cheap uh, quarter panels or something like that. Um, there's not a whole lot of really good junkyards in my area anymore. They certainly wouldn't have something of this vintage, but... So it's a bit unfortunate, because I'd love to go and just get like a two rear quarters and, and just put them in and but it looks pretty damn good in here actually I'm quite impressed with this car you know you get your normal rusty brake drums and all that kind of shit but uh, quite good this gas tank alone is probably about 300 bucks um, in stainless but uh, yeah, and you can see over there the uh, muffler still in good shape tailpipe so quite impressed I saved you the uh, well I saved myself the embarrassment I guess but I saved you the uh, you know getting this thing jacked up getting the jack stands in there it was a goddamn nightmare uh, I just don't do a lot of that so I you know I kind of had to figure it out I got I went and got these pieces of wood to put the uh, jack stands on out of the scrap bin over at uh, home hardware so I'll start the um, I'll be starting the shock replacement uh, tomorrow, and we'll get that uh, get that sorted. I'll probably make a movie about that. This will be the first ones I've done. Obviously, it's pretty simple. The the most complicated thing here is going to be uh, routing the air hose into the trunk or somewhere where you can fill it up. Uh, so more of a logistic thing than a uh, mechanical technical thing, but uh, and hopefully that'll give me what I need. And I, I think these add a thousand pounds a piece or something like that you know they're made for towing and um, these are probably sprung right out so uh, we'll get some height on her well and hopefully we can overcome the uh, lack of tension that's in the uh, that's in the springs um, I might uh, I don't know how I really don't know how um, uh, complete I want to be about this I, I wouldn't mind seeing what the uh, brake shoes look like 
but uh, I did have those looked at when I uh, had the car inspected and they, they said there's still lots of life on them so I may or may not get into that um, sometimes when I'm in a job like this you know I think oh there's all kinds of now that I've got jacked up and I was, you know there's all kinds of things I should check probably I should but uh, I'm a lazy lazy man and not only that but um, if I want to continue driving this into work I kind of I can't tear everything apart so um, I'm best off probably doing the job at hand and then uh, get her back on the road I have been driving it uh, into town again the electrical is working uh, with the exception of the wipers and still the radio the radio I don't give a flying fuck about um, but I will need wipers at one point and a washer so um, and the dash is not buttoned up I've still got it's just kind of dangling so it kind of rattles a bit more than it does normally so uh, I don't know if I'll make a video, well, maybe I'll make a final, uh, whatever, a conclusion video on the whole electrical thing there and go through it again, but um, essentially the, the car's back on the road, so that's that's what matters to me. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks everyone. Uh, just a very quick one for today. Uh, tomorrow I'll get at these shocks and uh, we'll, we'll find out what the hell that's all about. Uh, I just reminded myself when I looked at it here is that I'm going to hit those with some... Uh, uh, PV blaster or hit it with some kind of penetrant and uh, so that when I come tomorrow it'll those will probably break break loose pretty good Not sure how I'm gonna get up right up there yet, but uh, we'll work her out tomorrow huh? All right. Have a good day. Talk soon. Bye